Great packaging, but does the lure match the packaging? Does the carpet match the drapes? That's what we're gonna find out with this bait right now. So while the packaging is great, I need you to do me one thing before we get into the video. Hit that like and subscribe button if you're new and you're just hitting the subscribe button for the first time, make sure you leave me a comment and tell me that you subbed. I'd like to say hello and welcome you to the team. But here we go. I'm just like you. I'm very price oriented and I want to get a deal. I want a good deal on the lure, on everything, if I'm buying it. And I want it to, to work well. So today we're going to take one bait that you can get on Amazon, highly highly recommended, one of the bigger baits, and we're going to put it against the Molex, both the same size, about the same weight. I think they are exactly the same weight, but I think you'd be surprised. I want one you can get for probably 20 bucks versus I think this might be 28 or 29 dollars. But we're going to look at the action. We're going to see why this bait is less expensive than the Molex. And really, we're going to look at if it's worth buying this Amazon Glide bait versus eight or nine or ten dollars versus the Molex. It's this is our budget series, and today it's all about bluegill glide baits. So that's what you get: a five-inch, two and a quarter ounce bluegill glide bait that is one jointed hard plastic the joints are pretty good to tell you the truth I don't really like that right there but they it if you can see it bends pretty well but the whole thing is solid plastic it doesn't have the you know swivels in the where the the treble hooks are but it does have good treble hooks that's what it looks like. It doesn't have a really good profile coming at you, but as you can see, it has pretty good, it can wobble fairly decent in the back there. Well, let's keep it real. Lure prices have just skyrocketed recently. Some, some places are up 20, 25% because getting stuff in from China is really tough. But does, can that bait from Amazon make me want to stop going to my favorite place, Tackle Warehouse, and buying something a little bit more expensive that might be better. And since we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison of a lesser expensive one that was about 20 bucks, $22, versus the Molex that really looks like a real bluegill, which was $26, and when you think $6 and shipping and all that other stuff, the differences are drastic. They're both about the same size. Both use really good hooks. Both have good action and, and give you that opportunity to have great action. But the, it's the subtle differences that make this bait different. Starting off with the line tie where you're tying off. That bait seems to glide better in on the Molex because of where that point is. I think this is too high and it makes it want to do this. Next. Having just little extra pieces of plastic around the bait, on the dorsal fin, on the pectoral fins, on the tail, makes a huge difference on how that bait reacts. It's not as heavy, and that bait will glide differently in the water and, and, and sink properly. Now, both of them are floating lures because down here I have to worry about grass and everything, but this is, for $6 more, this bait is drastically better than that thing. I have only returned a couple things in my life to Amazon. That might be the second thing. That's the brutal, honest truth. This lure doesn't do anything for me other than irritate me and piss me off that I wasted $22 on it. The action is horrible. The... Uh, the paint scheme is horrible compared to the other one. And when you're looking at dollars and cents, six, seven dollars is a lot of money. I mean, it isn't a lot of money, but it is a, it's money. And we don't want to spend extra money on stuff. But I'm quickly learning in this budget series that spending the extra couple dollars really makes a big difference. And I feel bad for anyone that gets this lure from Amazon and gets it in the water because I don't think that 
well, you probably could catch a fish on it. I don't think I could catch a fish on it. That's the truth. On this Molex one, I know for a fact I will and can catch fish with. It just has that really nice gliding action. And as it falls, it falls properly. So while I want to save a dollar and I know you want to save a dollar, maybe the best thing to do is to, when you're comparing these two glide baits in particular, go with the Molex. I mean, the Molex is beautiful. It glides well, it, it pauses well, it does everything well. Uh, where that bait was, that bait, I could barely get it to, to run right. And now I know I'm, in, I'm throwing it in a pool with circulation and stuff like that, and that has a little bit of effect on it. But I'll tell you, I've never seen a lure look that bad in my life. Never. Of all the hundreds, I think I've probably done two or three hundred closer look videos. Probably more than that. And that is arguably the worst lure I've ever used. The worst action. It is hands down the worst action lure I've ever used. And for six or seven dollars you could get that Molex. So something to think about. I'd love to know what you think. Uh, hit that com. Hit, tell me below. Hit the comments and tell me what you think. Is it worth the six or seven extra dollars? In my opinion it, it is. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Get yourself a Molex. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.